like scared. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. Now, don't know if this is gonna actually do that for you, but anyway, this is more for the heart than it is for the health. If you're interested in that type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, guys, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the PS5. I'm super excited to show you guys what's in it, show what games I got, and just kind of tell you why I'm excited about it and maybe add some reasons why I think gaming actually could be a little bit productive for your life. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Okay, so, wow, this is amazing. So, it is definitely as big as you've seen it on everybody's comments. They have USB ports, HDMI, power. Uh, looks like then on the flip side, you have a USB-C cable. USB normal and then a power button and then it looks like an inject button. I like the disc personally, one, because it saves space on the system, but then two, it's, there's just something nostalgic about having the disc that you could put in, take out. And if you just happen to want to share a game with somebody, you can give the game to them. Or if you want to sell it, which GameStop, I don't know why you would sell it on GameStop. They give like 15 cents for like a last year's game. But anyway, I got the physical model. Guys, this design, is so nice. I'm gonna get my PS4 real quick. Compared to my PS4, this thing, that is a massive size difference. I do kind of miss the black, but I can't complain. Let me unbox everything else. All right, so what comes in the box? Quick start guide. Who reads that stuff anyway, man? Power cable. I think this is the stand if you wanna sit it to the side, that's what that is. HDMI cable, and what everybody has been super, super excited about, I mean, I'm excited about it too, goes to the controller, is the controller. Literally all the craze right now, and I'm a little disappointed in PlayStation because it does remind me of Xbox controller, but I'm not gonna complain, it's a new system, and I gotta try it out, but Feels great, apparently the vibration control is supposed to be crazy. Like you gotta be able to just feel the game a lot more. It comes with a USB-C port, um, all the typical buttons. Wow, the actual control, like the, the joysticks actually have a more rubberized feel, which seem like they're gonna be a little bit more durable compared to the typical PlayStation 4. This is gonna be very, extremely, extremely embarrassing guys because you can see how much I played on this controller like I literally lost one of the rubber pieces so basically what I was telling you guys PS5 is a little bit more thicker and if you see here it looks like the joysticks again are a little bit durable and the two games that I got were so I bought the bundle with the PS5 that was the only one that was available I wanted to get the Spider-Man Miles Morales game anyway because I played the Amazing Spider-Man probably like two months ago for the first time and it was awesome. I completed the whole game. I'm still working through the last DLC, which I gotta finish before I play this. Actually, take that back. I'm not gonna wait to play the DLC. I'm, not, I'm just gonna play it. And then the second game I got was NBA 2K21. From what I've seen, the graphics of the 2K21 and the next gen consoles are amazing, so I got it. I'm really excited for this. And also what I have coming tomorrow is Call of Duty Black Ops. So basically guys, this is my Christmas present to myself and I'm super pumped and super excited to play it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to share with you guys at least a few tips of why I actually think video games can provide some sort of benefit to your life. I know a lot of people think it's just a waste of time. I actually think there are a few benefits. One being the fact that like you learn good problem solving skills. All these games are complicated, they're hard, they have a lot of puzzles. So you gotta figure out how to you know, navigate obstacles to get to the main objective that you need to get to, which leads into my second aspect, which it helps you get used to failure. So I don't know about you, but in certain games where you just can't beat that level, you will fail. 50 to 100 times just to beat that level or beat that boss. And that really, I think, sets you up for really being comfortable with failing, right? And I don't think a lot of people see that connection where like you fail so much in this game too and then you feel that big accomplishment once you beat it. It's the same thing that applies to the real world. And then lastly, it's just fun. Like I love playing this with my friends. I love playing it by myself. It's 
it's just a great experience. And I know some people think it's just for kids. Well, guess what? I guess I'm a big old kid then because I'm gonna be playing this for probably the next uh, 24 hours. So question today, are you guys team PlayStation or are you team Xbox? Let me know in the comments below. I am not an Xbox fan. I don't even know the next gen system's name. It's like XS something, I don't care. It's not the PS5. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Embrace the hype, woo!